Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Poe Game here, and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate, and of course, Happy Holidays to those who don't celebrate uh, Christmas, maybe, you know, there's a whole lot of other holidays as well, so, you know, I want to include ya, yeah, but I hope you have a good weekend, or good weeks in January, whatever's about to come up, but uh, yeah, today we're going to be using a deli bird, I've been having like a little ice type weekend type of thing, uh, Obama Snow if I haven't already uploaded it, Mammal Swine as well if I haven't already uploaded it. We're using Deli Bird today. We got Deli Bird and OU, and I'm also going to be switching back and forth and doing Deli Bird and UU too. I got three teams from my boy RTSK. Shout out to him. You guys can get them from my website, pokenew.com. And also, what is your favorite ice type? Little question. You know, I don't usually ask questions of the day, but what is your favorite ice type? I'm generally curious. I really like Weavile a lot. I think Weavile is super cool. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, I wish Avalog was better because it's definitely up there for me, but I think my number one ice type probably has to be Cryogonal. I don't know why, but maybe it has to do with like 4th gen, oh, excuse me, 5th gen NU. I was just such a huge fan of Cravenal. The, the Snowflake just, it's strong, bro. Like, it, it, it eats hits. So, yeah. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. On my way to 300k, that's my end of next year goal. And I upload two or three videos a day. And let's just start looking for a battle. Also, I do have some merch available to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That link is down below. So, the first thing we got, Choice Band Deli Bird. We hustle, and uh, Troy's been this thing has over 400 attack, so it's actually pretty reasonable. We have Magnezone because it needs to trap this guy right there. We have Special Defense of Dawn Fan. Originally, this was Zatu, but I'm not a huge fan of Zatu in the OU tier, uh, so I made it Special Defense of Dawn Fan because somebody said, yo, try out Special Defense of Dawn Fan. It's sick. So I was like, okay, I will. Uh, then we have Thunder Wave, Clefable with Stealth Rock, Scarf Latios, and SD Life Orb Weavile, which looks incredible here, especially if I can get rid of that Pokemon. So. Let me show you how this game goes, bro. We lead off with the Deli. We lead off with the Deli. And we get a kill. That's it. They lead Glide Score. I'm ice punching that thing right in the face. They lead Heatran. I'm clicking Brick Break. They lead Scizor. Let me get some chip on this bad boy. Oh my. 50%. Easily in Weavile range. Now, I took damn near the same from no investment Scizor. But you know what? <laughs> we take those. Unfortunately, they've learned that uh, I do not like this Pokemon. Luckily, Clefable can come in on them as they click Psychic there. Not the end of the world for me. I'm just going to click Moonlight. I don't think they risked that roll. I think it's bad to risk it. And um, at least in this case, I don't really switch in very well to Heatran, but I do have Special Defensive Dawn Fan, which I'm kind of banking on uh, as an ability to take it. Because all I need is a little bit of damage on the Heatran and I'll be good, so... Uh, they end up going for Magma Storm there. Oh, that's that's why Special Defensive Dawnfin is nice. Li I like that a lot. We'll go for Knockoff here, be just in case they go Glide Score, or uh, I guess they could go Clef too. But the fact that they didn't do anything to me, basically if I hit them and get a little bit of damage off and I SD up later, I'm in a good spot. So I would gladly take that. Go ahead and give me that item on you. They don't have Flash Cannon switchings, which is nice, but I want to get a Michael Fable uh, because I can click Stealth Rock. And I can also click uh, Magma Storm as well. Oh, excuse me, I can click Thunder Wave as well. But I like Rocks Up just to pressure these guys. Basically, my uh, my Weavile goes in, and I can safely bring out my Dawn Fan here and just Rabbit Spin away. Uh, Glide Scores Rocks if they want to go for it. Ooh. You know what? It's time to bring out the Deli. Yup. And I'm going to Brick Break. There's no way you stay in. That's just a bad play. You'll die to ice move. I'm gonna brick break into Heatran. Come on, Deli Bird. Come on, Deli Bird. Yeah, Deli Bird. Don't you ever do me dirty, Deli Bird. I'm clawing for it again. I'm faster. There's no way they're max speed. No freaking way. Don't you ever. They were max speed. How? All right. Well, luckily, that means that Weavile picks up a KO now. But still, I'm, I'm really proud about Deli Bird in that game. I, it weakened Heatran. Clefable comes in and takes Stealth Rock, and it takes Throat Chop. And they get absolutely smashed by Magnezone, so we're looking really, really, really good now. Yeah, we're looking hella good. I don't gotta predict anything. Who cares if they go Glide Score? I'm clicking Spec Slash Cannon right now. Scizor gets two a KO. I believe Heatran dies after Stealth Rock because it's max. Unfortunately, it was max speed, right? Very unfortunate for me, it was max speed. But you know what? Deli Bird weakened that, and it weakened Scizor. For my Weavile, so I, Deli Bird did his job, honestly, it did his job. We know that's Specs Latios as well, just based on the damage I took, right? Yeah, that should be Specs. So we're in a good spot. We're in a pretty good spot. Just click Flash Cannon on something and ideally it dies. Uh, Glide Score comes out, 
not the one I necessarily wanted to come. Oh my, never mind, it died. Yeah, like I said, I just click spec splash cannon and it dies. That's, I said what I said and I meant what I meant. Elephant's freaking faithful, 100%. That's it. Damn it. <laughs> also, um, you better, you better roost. Like, what are you gonna do to me, bro? I'm, I'm doing damage to you. Actually, let me, uh, yeah, let me do this again. That's fine. Let's weaken them. Uh, defog U-turn roost. That doesn't matter. I just go Clefable and get up rocks in front of this thing because they can't touch me. Thunder Wave is good too, to be honest, right here, but I like rocks better. I'll take Bullet Punch for days, so yeah, let's go ahead and get those rocks up. Scizor is at 100. Do I have Earthquake on this Lottie? I do. So we're going to go Lottie right now. They get their stealth rock there. They might expect Surf. I almost want a Draco here, but I'm an Earthquake anyway. They should expect the Surf though, to be honest. They really should. I'm a double to Don fan, just in case they go out into, well, maybe not Starmie necessarily, but um, Scizor, I can, I can live a hit and I can Rabbit Spin away. Latios works too. Because I potentially get chip off on them. Let me go for chip for my ice shard just in case they're scarf lottie. I know they're specs, but still, it's the it's the play. Mm, gotta be careful about this guy. I'll double the zone. It deals with one, two, three. They also died to Thunderbolt now. One, two, three. Man, why was that max speed heat train? Let's see if they surf again. They do go clef. Great. Can just click Thunderbolt now. Don't really have to predict. He trend dies. Scizor gets to a KO. Ladio should die, I want to say. It doesn't matter if I take a flamethrower, it's not gonna knock me out. Worst case would be they burn me with flamethrower, but getting rid of Clef. Lottie being in range of Ice Shard. Though I know it's specs because of how much damage is in my Clef Clefable, but. Or maybe it's Soldu. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever, I just spec Thunderbolt here, either way. Like, if Clefable takes damage, they're gonna lose to Weavile. I guess they could try and Rabbit Spin versus me with Starmie to do something, but I'll always just sack my Latios there, so. I wanna say you die, considering Gliscor died. Very unfortunately, it did not. I'm going Latios anyway. If they drop a Draco, so be it. I knew it, they're definitely Soldu. They're for sure Soldu. I'm doubling here. In the Magna Zone again. As they go Scizor, perfect, exactly what I wanted. Then I get a million damage off on them. Maybe they'll defog eventually too, because that had to be so yeah, I knew it was Soldu. Ooh, I'll take no rocks. I, I mean I can get up rocks pretty safely, so I'll I'll definitely take like a KO on Scizor. No bullet punch from my opponent? Hell yeah. Uh, we just go Clef. Do I go Clef or do I go Latios here? Uh, Clef shouldn't be too icky out. Yeah, and now Thunder Wave is free. So I'm in a good spot. One, two, three. Thunder Waving Magna... Uh, Heatran means that Magna Zone's faster and can knock it out. Awesome. You safely go Latios now. As they click Magma Storm there. Can't be too AKO by Psychic, so I just click Earthquake safely as well. That should be good, even if they go Latios, who cares? I'm assuming they think I can't touch them. I'm hoping they think I can't touch them. Earthquake is literally just for this moment right now. Man, Deli Bird! I love you. Oh, did I name it Shady? I didn't name it Shady. That's why. I didn't keep it Shady. Whatever. Latios comes out. Similar situation. We can still go Clefable here. We're not too a KO'd. I could risk my Weavile, honestly, and I'm pretty sure I can win this game without Weavile too. 
nice. So, I'm gonna get up my rocks. Keep pressure on. We'll go Latios again. As I go for Magma Storm. I do not die, which is awesome. And I'm gonna click Earthquake again. I don't care if they go Latios. Like, I, I'm keeping my own Latios as a sack, so. Oh, this is awesome, because now I can safely bring out the GOAT again. How much did uh, Thunderbolt do to Latios? 43%. Nice. So it dies Thunderbolt. They flame, which is a great play. But now I get to click Specs Thunderbolt again. And two things happen here. I either They either kill me or they give me Heat Train, which is amazing. Uh, but at this position, I win the game with Weavile. So I'm in a really good spot. Latios comes out. I go out to my own. As they recover here. I simply click Psychic to make sure that Clefable cannot come in for free. And if they knock me out, I just go Weavile and knock them right back out. With Throat Chop. And then these guys go down. Hey, I just want to say Deli Bird made this possible, all right? It weakened that Heatran and kept it low. I really wish they were at max speed, though. But I, I really wish they were at max speed. Man, that would have been good. Pretty positive. Crash doesn't kill. I don't want the end game to go a little crazy, though. So what I want to do here is just crash. I'm going to crash because... One, I might have a, I have a child of flinching, but I can go Magna Zone after and just Volt Switch. I just don't want them combining up is the big thing, you know? Yeah, so I get the flinch, um, which is whatever, right? Like at that point, I'm pretty positive Clefable beats Starmie 1v1, and I can Thunder Wave it too, and I can just soft boiled up. Plus, they take Hydro damage, and I can eventually can Moon Blast them too. So, how much does Throw Chop do to this, homie? I mean, Ice Shard definitely kills, so that's whatever. I don't think they won, even if they attacked me. Again, I have Thunder Wave on Clef, and it's at 100%. Maybe if it was Spec Starmie, I guess, randomly. I suppose it could have been. But yeah, I, I didn't want to go hard into Magna Zone because if they Flamethrower isn't as good, and I didn't want to go out into Clefable because if they start calm, if they're combined unaware, like, they don't do damage to me, they don't doubt damage me, but it's going to eventually come to the point where I could lose to it. We're not on luck to win. Pretty sure Clef wins. Yeah, GG. Whatever. I guess, I guess they don't realize I have a full HP Clefable, but that's cool too. I don't care. <laughs> I, I take whatever it is. Like, like I said, I have no idea if their Calm Miner is the last move, which they more than likely could be. So I don't want to make it that my Magna Zone loses to it. I don't see why they ever click Softball there as well. They should have always attacked, because if I go hard zone, they lose immediately to zone so oh well i don't care i won and and deli bird came in i guess i am technically reliable on luck to win because i got hustled <laughs> special defensive dawn fam i'm getting a little bit sold on it i uh, wasn't too at by magma storm which is pretty cool all right so deli bird's role in this game is faster than you got ice sharp at you they have an entei which completely destroys me and shuts down my team awesome psychic is really strong here though uh, they could be lead breloom like Scarf Breloom plus like a million Mons. Uh, Entei's a problem for sure. I'm gonna start off with Latios just because it's super good versus these guys. Uh, as they end up leading off with Metagross, which isn't really what I wanted. Uh, <sighs> damn, man, this Mon's gonna be annoying. All right, we'll go Dawn Fan. I'm really hoping they're not Choice Ban. Doesn't look like they are. So we can just go for Rabbit Spin here. Get rid of the... Oh my God. Okay, so they exploded, which is good and bad. It's good because I uh, don't have to deal with Metagross, right? So Psychics are free. Like, Alakazam doesn't really count. Uh, it's bad <laughs> because I didn't get to Rapid Spin there. Lead that is really nice. I like the idea behind that, though. I think that's pretty cool. Deli Bird's role is to Ice Shard the Breloom. Oh, well. Well, let me Ice Shard it first, so that way it dies to my Deli Bird's Ice Shard. Uh, this might be Scarf. I don't feel the need to switch. 
I have a Deli Bird, which will click Ice Shard right after, and I will click Ice Shard with Deli Bird. Yeah, I didn't I didn't feel the need to switch there. I could also go out into Latios, but I have to keep it healthy for Entei. I'm gonna do Deli Bird right now. Christmas time. Yeah, get out of there. Chop it up for Deli Bird, baby. Where, who are you? No one. But I. It's a Deli Bird. I don't know if I beat Gastrodon with this team. <laughs> but we'll try our best. Because this guy could technically do enough to dash it on, but uh, Sacred Fire is too strong versus me, so I'm going to get some chip on Entei. I want to be 100% clear when I said some chip, I meant some chip. Alright, we're psychicking right now. Um, Entei will be 2 ko Togekiss might not be 2 ko Oh, it looks like they might be Scarf. They could predict me to switch here, but... And go for Flamethrower. I just don't want them dazzling gleaming. I can't risk it. Even if they go for like they're a good player, but like I can't. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make the to uh, the Clefable play now because we can get up rocks. They should go Gastron, and rocks will help uh, get rid of the roll on Toyo Kiss, as well as Entei, obviously. And then I can just like start spamming Moonblast. I have Yawn. Uh, this guy's annoying to fight. I think we psychic end game, so I'm gonna go Magnusm here and sack it. Yeah, this guy's gonna be hella annoying for me to break. But again, I think we're going down a Lottie plus Clefable end game. Then we're Toa Kiss, which is fine. I'm gonna make the Clefable play here. I'm assuming what they do is they go for Flamethrower, so yeah, in that situation. I knew they burned me, but that's like. That might actually be okay, considering I can't be, uh, considering I can't be, uh, what's it called? Slept now, so I'll take that. I'll throw off a Thunder Wave just in case they go Entei. Doesn't matter if they go Gash or not, I just don't want Entei coming in for free. But that does hurt my endgame versus Alakazam, because I take extra damage. But yeah, they do go Entei. Nice. You're gonna take a lot, Latios, but I, I need you to I need you to be strong right here. I need you to be strong. The play was actually, I think, go to Magnezone. Okay, the extreme speed at first. Yeah, that's why the play was to go Magnezone. Damn man. How much do I do to Gastro? Oh, try attacking my best play. <laughs> Let's go. Specs try attack, baby. It's time. Nice, and they stayed in with Entei too. I'll gladly take those. Thank you. I will gladly take Entei. Can't even switch now. They do crit me though. But we get rid of Entei, which means no priority for Mente. Obviously, Zam could come out. Zam has to be Sash, right? Like the way it's being played, it has to be Sash. Ice Shark for Togekiss, which is definitely Scarf. I want them to go Gash it on now. This endgame versus Gastron is going to be annoying. Why they Focus Blast for whatever reason? I think the play is to go Clefable first and Moonblast. Because it knocks out Togekiss and they switch out to that. I think that is Life Orb. And I think I can endgame the Gastro, maybe? So I go you. I click Throw Chop. And then I crash into Gastro, and maybe my, my Psychic can win. Yeah, I crash into Gastro because I can flinch it. Or maybe they'll just throw away the thing and I can Draco win too. How much do I do to Gastron? I have zero, like I, I, I can't see what their Gastron set is, right? So, Weavile, let's put Life Orb on this bad boy. Let's put Throat Chop, which is the same as Triple, uh, uh, the other move, so it's fine. 
Gasher don't want to use special defensive. Oh god, it does 50. It does half. Oh, awesome. Okay, so they're they're not special defensive. That's great. So we're gonna crash here. We're gonna crash again. Yeah, I have to. Ah, that end game though is gonna be crazy. They risked that. Now I gotta get this roll. They're just gonna recover, right? I could SD, but it doesn't leave them low enough for Psychic anyway. I'm talking about Alakazam for Psychic is what I'm saying, so I, I might as well just go for the flinch. Like, it, does, it doesn't leave Alakazam low enough for Psychic. I can't Draco win. I, mean, I might as well SD now, right? I have no other choice. Damn. <laughs> I don't think Psychic knocks out Zam at all, but we'll try. Oh, I got that there. I don't think Zam dies to Psychic because it has good special defense. If it was Psy Shock, yeah. <laughs> I got the flinch. I would have rather got the roll earlier. I didn't want to SD in front of that because I didn't want them yawning. Uh, Toekus dies too. There's no way Zam dies unless I get a crit. This is just hard, like a really tough matchup. Okay, good game. Yeah, even with a crit, I wouldn't have been able to beat Zam. Let's go ahead and look for another one. Get a little bit more, a little, little special delivery, a little Christmas special. Try and get as many does as possible with this team. Oof. Okay, the Ice Shard though for Garchomp, that's that's basically the extent of what you're going to be doing in this game. Uh, special Defensive Dawn Fan is really nice. In when games like this, which are really offensively based, I love Scarf Lottie lead because usually Rotom or Infernape are Scarf and I get like a Draco off early on. Yeah, so Rotom lead, uh, they could have Thunder Wave, but it's it's fine because I can beat, I basically have Weavile to outspeed everything on their team, so I'm going to go right for the Draco there. Now they can U-turn. Clearly. We go Dawn Fan because it'll live uh, Gengar's attack. Yeah, Rotom is whatever. Rotom just means I get up rocks. And they Willow, which is great for me because, like, again, I get up rocks. So. I have my Ice types in this game to do damage to these guys, so I don't have to use Clefable defensively. A Sludge Bomb here, right? I go special defensive Dawn fan. Do 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 do. You joke. That's specs though. So. Double to Magnezone. Maybe they go Rotom or they go Scizor. Both of which are are good for me. Let's go for that Thunderbolt. Great play on the opponent's part. They want to get up rocks here, right? I'm going Dawn Fan anyway. I'm going Dawn Fan. Again, we're getting that much closer to a Scarf Lottie sweep, which is really nice. Scarf Lottie looking hella good. They went right for Outrage. I could easily have gone Clefable there, but this is better. Yeah! Another one for Deli Bird, baby! Special delivery from hell. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right, you can take it. That's fine too. All right, so that dies to Psychic always. Gengar comes out. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave. Say so Sludge Bomb. I get to go Magnezone then and click an attack. They should be faster than me still, but it's like I lose anything. Magnezone is guaranteed faster, and Thunderbolt's a guaranteed kill on something. Yep. Peace. So we get that kill. This gives them Infernape. Doesn't matter if Lottie takes a U-turn. Just click Psychic here. They try and go for it to knock me out with Scizor after, which makes sense. I 
Like the Magnezone play, they do U-turn. Uh, I'm going Latios right now. Yeah, because he always focuses Blaster, exactly. Dragomir is my play in case they are Life Orb. Psychic is the play to put them in range of my attack. I'm going to drop a Draco because I'm not going to miss. Then this lets me go Weavile now and just click Throw Chop. Which two Akios wrote him. And Magnezone is basically the Okay, now they, they just lost to... Uh, they just lost to Magnezone. Well, they also just lost to Weavile too, but... I just click again. It doesn't matter because I always go Magnezone after to click Thunderbolt and knock them out. So if they U-turn, they lose. I don't, I don't know what... There's some stuff going on in the background. Alright, I'm simply going to ensure that I win the game with Magnezone. I'm, I'm going to go hard, Magnezone. It's not going to die to Hydro Pump anyway. I'm going to Thunderbolt this guy. They defog instead of getting off damage on me with U-Turn to put me in range of Rotom. It's not Scarf Rotom, it switched the moves, right? Like, I saw Will-O-Wisp and Volt Switch, didn't I? Yeah, it Will-O-Wisp and Volt Switch, my guy, so it's not Scarf Rotom. I don't even think it's faster than me. It's not. They had a new Guav Berry. Ooh. You know what? You know who winning this game right now? Deli Bird. I said Deli Bird winning this game right here right now. Deli Bird is winning this game. <laughs> and you will not stop him. Get Brick Break. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Again. Look at Deli Bird, bro. That's two Pokemon it killed. It also would have, uh, if things got rough, it would have, um, it would have helped me out versus the, the Alakazam in a pinch. Ooh, better Pokemon than me. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Uh, they, they get smashed by, uh, well, Deliver, but they get smashed by Clefable, so that's really nice. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to just click Earthquake with Donphan because I'm, I'm really, really weak to, to Mamoswine. So, provided they don't get five hits here. We, we're we good. Just click Earthquake again. Always, always the play. I am incredibly lucky with my Dawn fan. And we're just going to click Rabbit Spin just in case they click Stealth Rock for whatever reason. So that's great. So this allows me to go out to Weavile. And click Throat Chop and pick up a KO. Which is what I wanted. Uh, basically, Mamoswine's Ice Shark priority is the same as Weavile's, but Mamoswine being uh, bulk, bulky in a sense, like it's the ground type on the team, right? Like I can bolt switch around. So that's why I kind of focus down my Dawn fan, which loses to basically every member on their team anyway. Uh, so I kind of use it to focus down Mamoswine. I like Spear on Mamoswine, but I mean, they're clearly lead Mamoswine, right? But I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of it at the same time. But yeah, Throw Chop is my play. I'm not sure what move they're going to go for, but... Again, with rocks up, uh, Clefable beats every member on their team. The biggest threat is the Togekiss if it's Scarf. I have an Ice Shard for that in the back. So I should be okay. Yeah, they just Ice Shard me to put me in range of extreme speed. Smart play, smart play. All right, so we get rid of Mammal. We're playing a game without rocks from their side. From my side, I have the option, but we're playing a game without rocks right now. I want to keep Weavile alive for Starmie. If they go Manaphy, I go hard into Clefable and Thunder Wave it to make sure my Magnus zone's faster, which also allows me rocks later. And I can click Softboat a couple times, or to me, Moonlight, until they get full paralyzed. <laughs> Dragonite comes out. If they have Banded Iron Talent, so be it. I'm not too KO'd by that. 37 plus 2, so I am going to click Thunder Wave. It hits every member on their team some damage and I can moonlight up. So we know that's Bandit Dragonite as well. I mean, that has to be Bandit. Most Starmies on these type of offensive teams are analytic, so hitting it with a Thunder Wave is great too. And I can safely go Magnezone and click Volt Switch. 
Oh, Thunderbolt's better. It hits everything. They have no Thunderbolt decision, so... Yeah, let's get that KO. Perfectly. All right, so Draco is also free. Dragonite can come out. Um, they probably Earthquake or Fire Punch if they go Dragonite. I'm just going to go Deli Bird. If they Earthquake, trying to predict Clefable, I'm in a good spot. They keep outraging. I'm so mad that Deli Bird dies there, but... Yeah, they outraged. Um, we get the Moonblast, which is what we want. Uh, Moonblast chip on everything is, is good, period. So, it's always my play instead of clicking rocks here. Oh, man. Rocks mean that, like, Draco picks up KOs, but Moonblast is the same thing as getting up rocks, basically. That is... I think that Moonblast is best. I would love to Thunder Wave here, but I think that Moonblast is just better all around. Like, this guy is for sure getting Thunder Wave. Like, for sure you're catching this color, but... Still. Nice. We can moonlight up. We just bring up Magnezone one more time. This time we click Volt Switch. Specs Volt Switch will knock out Manaphy. Definitely an annoying threat. We have Volt Switch as a guarantee KO here, so. Oh man, that's the only reason why I went for it. And now we go into our uh, Weavile to force them to go out to Dragonite and play Extreme Speed, whereas I can sack Magnus on that turn. So we're just trying to play it safe. Uh, Deadly Bear would have been nice in this end game, but it's fine. So we sack Magnus on here. Okay, I'm going to risk a Fable, but I do risk it getting crit. I'm going to risk a Fable just to have an extra sack versus Starmie so I can click Draco Meteor and get a kill. That's the only reason why I'm doing that play. They have four extreme speeds left. We get rocks up because I actually think they switch here. Yep. I'm not going to lose to E-Speed in the end, but if they Rabbit Spin, it's bad. It's fine. I just sack this and click Draco Meteor anyway. It doesn't matter if, they're, if they Rabbit Spin and get faster than Starmie. They're not going to knock it out in one hit, which is the important part. So, just simply Volt Switch here. Uh, they're not going to knock out Latios with Ice Beam, uh, so we drop a Draco. The important piece, like I said, to keep alive... I guess they could freeze me, so it, and it, it also risked me missing that. But the important piece to keep alive is always Clefable. And they only have four E-Speeds left, so... I knew what I need to win here. I guess we're not doing UU in this one, maybe, because... I would just want Draco damage off on them just so I can knock them out with Moonblast. I suppose if they're banded, it's a little annoying too, but if they're not banded, then it's easier. I'm not sure what they do here. If they Maybe they'll try an SD, but again, that doesn't matter for Clef, in Clef's case. But I'm getting that Draco off just so I can put them in range. Again, if they Ice Shard, that's fine too, but Draco's just so... Ugh, come on, man. Alright, they throw Chop, which is fine. I simply Moonlight once, and then Moonblast after. They do have the Poison Jab, which is a little bit unfortunate there. Uh-oh. I might lose the E-Speed now. Now that I've missed Draco Meteor, because I wouldn't have... Uh, if I didn't miss Draco Meteor, what would have happened that turn is I would have clicked Moonblast right after immediately to KO them. Uh, but now I'm in a uh, position to lose. Yeah, because I can't Moonlight up. So I actually have to Thunder Wave them and pray they get the full powered. Legitimately, I, what I have to do, I have to play, pray they get full powered twice because I missed Draco Meteor to put them in range of Moonblast. So, yeah. That sucks. I just, I, I feel like I played that game so well and then I lose to, <laughs> I lose to luck. That's unfortunate. I guess I could have went up rocks, but again, like when I got the Dragonite broken, it wouldn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference what move I put there. They're always clicking Ice Shard anyway. That really sucks, man. I would have been out of range of Extreme Speed, and I could have just, I'll, I could have stalled it out. I could have stalled out the four more. I mean, this guy could have came in. Yeah, good game. Not a game I deserve to lose. Not a game I deserve to lose. I feel like that's not a game I deserve to lose, but that's Pokemon.
Ooh, Young Toaster Bread. They have two dragons, and that's what the Deadly Bird likes to see, baby. Yo, they get messed up by Dawn Fan. They also get messed up by... <laughs> Why do I feel like Azu is coming out? Yep, I knew it. Alright, easiest spec splash cannon of my life. Oh my god, 76%? <laughs> Demon. And that should be a free Dawn Fan. <laughs> Quote unquote, bro. Thanks for the crit. It's gonna Earthquake back. So they can get a kill here uh, with Waterfall. Play rough. They would Waterfall for sure. I want to keep. I want to keep my one up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use. Literally use. I'm gonna force myself to use Deli Bird here. Scissors fine. Yeah, I'm gonna force myself to use Deli Bird here. Uh, by that I mean that I'm. I'm making it so Deli Bird will ice shard that guy. So I can always go Magnezone. Zone. They can never bring out uh, Azu on me, which is great. Ever. They can go Gengar though. Young Toaster Bread. <laughs> Such a good day. That's fine. Gonna knock off. I wish I spun, but it's okay. I picked up the KO. I really wish I spun, but actually, no, no, no. I, uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to spin because of their Rocky Helmet. So that's good. Nice. I would definitely go Weave out here. They, you know what? That play worked out for them, but I'm surprised they brought it in. Because if I went Magnezone, I guess click Thunderbolt. I just didn't want them going Gengar, so they got me that turn. Good play. I forced a sack Lottie in that position, I feel. Azu being banded. Alright, I'm a double here. I know I'm keeping my, my, uh, my Pokemon. My resource is short, but I'm doing it. And they opted to stay in. So you know what? Young Toaster Bread completely outplayed me. And I can't even say anything. I got completely outplayed by Young Toaster Bear. Good game. Completely outplayed. Well played. Can't say anything. They completely outplayed me. So I'm really surprised they went Scizor. Like I said, if I went Magnezone, it was free versus them. But get another one. Telly Bird. Telly Bird, do something. E trend switching. Not the matchup I want to see <laughs> at all. Not the matchup I want to see at all. Deli Bird would probably be a Scizor if I had to pick a different Pokemon. Yay, Deli Bird. I like them. One, two, three. Who are you harding at? <laughs> My Deli Bird. Hey, let me get a little high, a little smiley face. Uh, we're going to lead off a lot just because we can drop a Draco on Mamoswine immediately. Gyarados and Rotom. Again, Rotom is just like... There's no Rocky Helmet in this game. I need it to punish Scizors. But yeah, Rotoms are usually Scarf. That looks to be Scarf Rotom. So I'm, I will gladly take that damage. That's good for Weavile. That's good for Deli Bird. Uh, that's just good damage in general. Scizor is relatively free for my opponent to go out into. And I'm forced to go Magnezone here on the U-turn. But that allows them to get in uh, Mamoswine or Heatran. I think Heatran is the safest play they can make. I don't think you ever go Mamoswine just because I could be randomly Scarf. Uh, Heatran, like I said, is 100% safe. Or safe is, excuse me. Like, it's the, it doesn't risk anything dying. I mean, I was already Scarf Latios, but... You can run double Scarfers. Alright, man, if you want to get a kill, that's fine too. I'm trying to think how I'm going to beat this guy. I'll use Clef here. I'm going to take a lot from this Earthquake, depending on the set. I don't want to go uh, Lottie, though. Life of Quake, not that much. Telly Bird, that, that has to be Adamant damage, right? Let's see if I can get up rocks. Nice. Uh, so we both greedy rocks there, and I think it was stronger for me, personally. Um, maybe. Hmm. Scarf Lottie, I need a lot. I, wa I wanted rocks for Gyarados, I'm too weak to it. I knew that was a crazy roll. Okay, awesome. So, I come out on top in that situation, in my opinion. Because... Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make sure... I'm gonna make sure my Deli Bird... 
does something in this game. They have an ice shard here though. Okay. I'm just gonna pr hope they're not max speed on their hatred. We just throw a chop here, pick up a KO. Potentially something. Rock for this. Run him Scarf, so I'm gonna assume none of these guys are Scarf. I can also use Earthquake Heatran too, and I can go Magnezone and force the Gyarados to attack me. I, I have options. I knew that, I was like, and that has to be like Admin Mamoswan, dude. That did so much damage to my Clef. <laughs> like, that's the difference between Amazon and Weavile. <laughs> one of them is harder to switch into. This one, they just always go Scizor. Well, depending. I would love for Mamoswan to die here. I would, I would very much rip to become extinct this turn. Like, that would be such a good <laughs> turn for me. Maybe they're going to sack Rotom. Oh, no. Do you have GJ? What are you doing, my friend? All right, good. They gave me... Thankfully, they gave me that mod. All right, good, good. We hella take those. I still have Special Defense of Donphan as well, so that can still eat hits if it needs to. Um, at this point, I'm just going to throw Chop because I want to make sure that my Lottie can pick up a KO later. So I don't think I'll ever be able to trap that thing for free. So I want to make sure Lottie can pick up a KO. Raul, my buddy hit me up. My best friend. <laughs> he said, you're, you're, what's up, bro? I have to be forgetting I'm from New York. I don't, I just don't always talk like it. I guess sometimes I do. <laughs> I already feel my accident coming out. He's calling me. Hey. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, brother. Wait. Yo, hold up, bro. I'm just I'm just finishing up a recording, alright? It's all you wanna say hi to the people? Alright, I don't know if they hear you bro. But I'll 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 call you right back, alright? I'll call you in a bit. Alright, peace bro. <laughs> I knew you were gonna call me. Lottie just got scary. Hmm, I think I psychic. My ice shard is going to be so strong. All right, so we got rid of Rotom, which is great. That means that Donphan also gets a guaranteed KO versus something. I have to be so careful around Scissor, man. I have to be really careful around Scissor. Because especially if I'm, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, which I know what I'm going to do versus Latios when that comes out. And I'm going to go Donphan and pray the homie eats. I guess they could have Ice Beam, though. It really depends on the heat trans set. If they go Gyarados, I hit that. Yeah, both of ours just became... I'm not sacking Deli Bird, even though it's my best play to sack Deli Bird, because I get a, a free Volt Switch after. You know what? I believe in my ability. Alright, so that's Spectacles for sure, which means I get all Ice Shard damage here. I get Ice Shard damage off here, which is important. Good chip. Now I go Deli Bird. And like a demon. Do I click Draco Meteor? I do I click Brick Break? Like a demon. I don't think I, I... I would love to. I feel like they don't have to. They just sack this though. I'm clicking Brick Break. Ah, I made the wrong play. I knew they'd sack it. Damn it, man. I'm on tilt. I'm on hella big tilt. <laughs> No, you know what? Let me earthquake just in case. Shoot, yeah, yeah, GG. Yeah, um, so, yeah, so if I ice shard there, they were thinking they can set up with Heatran, which is, I mean, excuse me, with Dra Gyarados, which, if I Draco, excuse me, they're thinking they can go Heatran and get a kill, which is true. If I ice shard, they're thinking they can go Heatran and get a kill, but maybe I can earthquake it when going Latios. Damn, we're on a three game loss streak. Let's try for one more. Try and get a dub. Or should we just switch to Yu Yu? I think Yu Yu's hard. <gasps> the team of teams. Okay, Deli. I have no ice shard switching. <laughs> Nido being so good versus B2. Screw it. I want rocks up. I got no switching to nothing. Perfect. You turn on me and I get up rocks. We're going to use Deli Burr here. It's going to be so good, guys. It's actually coming right out right now. Freest drill pick of my life on the Scizor. 
55%. What a demon. Clicking it again. Clicking it again. Yeah. Deli Bird forced out Scizor. Y'all saw that? And it did 40% to Rotom. <laughs> you want to see the craziest Dawn fan of my life? And that's why I made that play. Probably shouldn't have. Ooh, that's a free Draco. That Draco gets a kill on something. That's a free Draco, buddy. I really thought they'd switch. <laughs> but then again, I have a Magna Zone. But did you see Deli Bird do that much? This is what oh, I'm, I'm in my fields right now. Go ahead and give me this mod. Come on, dude. <sighs> Come on, man. Like, don't give me Pokemon just to, like... Don't do that to me. I'm gonna lose this mod because I'm gonna play really risky versus this guy. I really want a flash cannon here so badly. Whatever, I get a kill with the homie. Oh, please break this up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for breaking this up. I meant I clicked the wrong mod. I meant to click Latios. I want to save this guy for later. Click Ice Shark. It's a 2 -a KO. It's a 2 -a KO. It's been beaten. It has been 2 -a KO'd, ladies and gentlemen. The demon has been 2 -a KO'd. Uh, no switching, so you can go ahead and knock me out there. I click Draco Meteor now and get a kill. And Rotom on Latios and everything. One, two, three. Is this Scarf Lottie on this? No, 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 no. It's Specs Lottie. It's Specs Lottie. So Weavile kills. One, two, three, four, five. They can't Aqua Jet sweep me. They, they give me Latios, which is amazing. Cool. We land that. I, I can't believe Deli Bird killed Scizor with two Ice Shards. That's so funny. I do think you're the sack. Rotom is good. I'm just going to flash cannon here. I'm not going to look back. Yeah, as I say, they might also Ice Beam. So this is great. We pick up a KO on King, so I'm up 4-3. Cardon comes out to claim one. Hmm. I think I just Moonblast. Safely in the glide score. Yeah, I did a lot, so let's move last again. They'll kill Rotom too. Ah, uh, they they lose. Yeah, they lose for sure now. They go Rotom, they lose. Cause they can't Aqua Jet sweep me. Just stand and Moonblast again. Moonblast again. Moonlight. The U turn. I definitely live a crab hammer from full because I'm defensive. Yep. Alright, so that's a guarantee win now. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. We did it. And Deli Bird did it. Alright, I'm gonna end on that. I'm gonna end on that. I was gonna do some UU, but I mean we could do one UU game. Let's change names. Now nah, you know what? That's a good one to end it on. Deli Bird B Scissor 1v1. It did so much to Rotom too. It just did a lot. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you, Brett, for watching. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Definitely uh, definitely some tough games positioning with this team. Um, I do think Donphan was a little bit better than Azatu would have been, though, but for sure some tough games positioning with this team. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.